Hey guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Redstone tutorial video. And in this one, I'll be showing you how to build a lever combination lock in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So here's the design that I've created. It is infinitely expandable. I just chose to do three to show you how it works. So if we flick these two levers here, it opens up the door. You can lock right through. And then if one of these is off, then it'll close up. So you can do that, it doesn't work. You can do that, it doesn't work. The only thing that will work are these two. Now, as I said, you can do as many levers as you want. It is expandable and it is a very small redstone contraption and it is very easy to do. So let me show you how. So if we go around the back here, yeah, that's it. Two torches, three redstone dust, and then the redstone that goes into the door to open it up. And that is it. It is very, very small. It is very easy to build. Credit to Mumbo Jumbo. I found this design on his channel. Here are the items that you'll be needing for this build. A block of your choice, a color block of your choice, LT is with blue concrete, an iron door, redstone dust, redstone repeater, and redstone torch. For this build, you'll be needing a spacing of 2 by 8. Now this only applies if you are doing the design with 3 levers. As I said, you could expand it even more, but I will show you that later. Let's just get to this design first. So to start off, you are going to get out your block of choice. Build all the way across here from one end to the other on the front. And then build it up two more layers here. And then on the right side, put your door like this. So there's a block here and then your door. Then you're going to take out your levers and you're going to place one here, here, and here. So there's going to be two blocks in between the lever on this side and the door. Now you can just place your door. You can do it this way or I like doing it this way just because it looks a bit better. You could put it in the front of your house, this, this, this thing. Um, you could put it anywhere. So now you're going to go to the levers that you want to use to, for your combination lock. So I'm going to do these two here. So the levers that you're going to use for your combination lock, you're going to, to go to those and put redstone torches on the ends of those ones, of those levers. So whichever ones you're going to use for your combination lock, put a redstone torch on the other side of the block of where your lever is that you're going to use for your combination lock. So these are my two here. So I'm going to have two redstone torches here, and these are the levers that I'm going to use for my combination lock. Now the only thing I have to do is the lever that you don't want to use, or the levers that you don't want to use, place a block here with a piece of redstone dust on the other side, like this. And then you're going to see your redstone dust, put redstone under these torches here. So whatever you want to do to hook up the rest of the redstone to the door, I'll just do this. I'll get a repeater and place one here into the block where the door is like that with a torch on this side and a piece of redstone dust there so that it's closed. Now when I go and flick these levers here, the door should open. So your combination lock should be just like this if you're doing three Three, um, three root levers, and you can do it any, any way, any combination you can do works. You could do it these levers, you could do just the middle one here, or you could do what I did here, or you could do these two. Now this is only for three. Now I'm going to show you a design that you can use that has more levers. So here's the design. I have eight levers this time. As you can see, it is still expandable. Now, if I flick this lever and these two levers here, the door should open. And then if I flick, if I flick another one, the door should close because it's not the right combination. Now, if I do any other ones, if I do this, it doesn't work. And this is what's happening. So the torches are on the blocks 
behind the levers that I use for the combination and any levers that are not used for the combination you have to put a block and a piece of redstone on top of it and then wherever there's a torch you dip down a block and it sort of looks like this and then you just hook it up to a piston door or a door like this and if you're wanting to see what happens basically the torches all turn off and then it and then it lets the door open if one of them is off then one of these torches is still powering all of the redstone so it will still be closed it's only if I flick this lever then it'll open and it'll power off it'll turn off all of the redstone that is all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because it'll pull the channel a lot. But anyway, that's the end of the video and I'll see you in another one.